Hey everyone, today I have a surprise. I made a card. <laughs> I know I surprised myself too. Um, the last time I made a card, I think it was Christmas. I don't know. Um, I'm not the greatest card maker, but um, I wanted to keep trying, you know, at it and not give up because it kind of stresses me out. It takes me like hours. But, um, um, oh, I was inspired by all the cards Abel received for his uh, birthday that most of them were made with this corrugated and I kept seeing it at Michael's so I finally picked it up you know you get like 20 of them for $12.99 so I had a coupon of course um, so I used one of the corrugated recollections and what I did was first of all everything on here is pretty much from craft supplies one on Zibit um, I'll have the link below and I used a lot of the products um, that I got in my DT packages so let me show you guys what I did first I had the corrugated and I just painted it like tan and cream and then I kind of sanded it and you know made it distressed a little bit which obviously I covered up most of it um, and then I used some Prima paper um, I did a large square of this and I did some whitewashing you know with paint with paint and distressed all the edges with my distressor then I used one of the straight papers over here then another one of the um, blue polka dot and um, yeah so I just layered some paper and then this is so cute um, the gorgeous girls you know you guys all color them well I don't have the markers and you know I know if I invest in them I'll probably use them a few times and then that's it so what I found was I found that the gorgeous girls makes die cuts um, already colored so you know it kind of it looks similar to the coloring so anyways I just used her in the center and um, I put one of this the beautiful penny farling charms that you can get in the store and it comes in a bronze color and I just kind of painted it up but it really gives you like the dimension and I kind of popped her out too and then over here um, this is from uh, Prima die cuts uh, it's like a chipboard die cut set and it's the delight collection and then over here is one of the beautiful filigrees you can get in the store as well that I just painted up to distress it and this blue rose you can get there too and I put one down here they're like a nice royal blue and I just kind of painted it up and then this trim over here she has in a couple different colors um, so I put that up there and on the bottom and then over here, this is one of my favorite new trims that she has. It's, um, it comes in white and cream, and it has like a ribbon through it and then some lace, and it looks really, um, I think it looks vintage. I love it. So I just made a little bow up here and kind of made it go over here and then put a ribbon rose over here. And then um, on the bottom, I have more of the trim with some fibers. Sorry, my hands are all inky. Um, then this other... I put this lace underneath which is like a cream and then this lace on top and then the fibers are underneath the teardrops so then over here Julie has tons of um, acrylic bead sprays that she actually makes and this is a beautiful blue and I love how it goes with um, the blue in her dress and the flowers so I just I wanted it to be like her hands were behind her back and she's holding flowers so I thought you know I don't know I thought that kind of looked cute and um, yeah so let me know what you guys think and make sure and check out the store she also just posted um, some skull beads and some new rosebuds so there's 25 new items in the store right now um, so make sure and check it out and let me know what you guys think of my little card and have a great day bye